you uh, you know you are a part of a startup which kind of you know uh, provides uh, uh, in-house capability, in-house cloud capability, which is of a hybrid model where you know you can use your own hardware as well as you can you know leverage Azure or AWS or uh, you know other third third party public cloud setup. So in this case, you would probably would have to read about and learn about a lot of different technologies. So when startup, I mean, we just blindly saying use a technology to a lot of people who wanted to start up. But where do they even start, right? So and when they, for example, stumble upon some stuff or want to do more research, what is the best way for them to get more information? You know, what would be your advice to say this is the way to kind of get yourself familiar and wrap up your, your cloud skills? Or, yeah, in general, all architecture in one cloud. Uh, so the sad state of things is there's not many people who provide training or there's not. There's some amount of things that are available online which people can provide and there's some blocks which you can read to get your things up uh, quickly. But uh, we face this issue, uh, but that's something which we were trying to solve. Uh, for example, setting up OpenStack or who you pick this is a bit easier. <laughs> but setting up OpenStack is a pain and people really cannot go read the uh, 400 page manuals that are there to see, exactly. get a small problem. Yes. Now, from a startup point of view, I think when they start, uh, is they should directly go and use a, a public cloud or a platform as a service to try out their idea and figure, build that app quickly and see what it's easier to use. But then again, as uh, you guys pointed out before, you lose on flexibility of using a platform. But again, then you will have to put in the effort to learn, go read all their system manuals and everything. There are people who provide training. There are, uh, I think, Cloudflare is something which provides uh, training for AWS and cloud. Uh, so my question was more in terms of, you know, um, okay, yeah, yes, there, there is a training company that can provide, right? But I mean, when you're talking about different technologies, right? It could be that uh, today you are learning about AWS. Tomorrow you have to learn about Azure. Then we have actually about OpenStack. You have all this flip flop going on. So kind of what is the best way to, uh, you know, figure out the right technologies to use, figure out the, the right architecture to use, right, uh, for a start, because that information is not readily available like you said. Uh, it depends on your comfort level of what technology you're using. Suppose you, you are a core Java developer for 15 years and all you know is Java and you can develop apps in that. I suggest go for infrastructure as a service. Uh, where you have set up your own cloud and you set up your own full Java app which you are comfortable with and start working with it. Choose a platform which helps you get to uh, product fastest. Now suppose you are uh, basically you don't have so much experience developing stuff and then you have a cool idea and you quickly want to get into market. Then go to a platform as a service and then quickly build uh, use the apps the APS which they provide and quickly build a product from. That's depends on your idea, depends on your skill set, depends on what the final image to get to market as quickly as possible, right? So okay. you choose the technology. Um, okay. When we started our company, all of us come from uh, building products, not on the cloud. We, we build uh, improvised products, database development, uh, build on Java, Microsoft technologies. So when we started to build this product on the cloud, you know, the first thing uh, you realize is that the way you architect a product for the cloud is very different from the way you architect it for the uh, enterprise. Uh, Product. Um, obviously, we, we learned a huge deal. Uh, but one of the first things that we did is get an external consultant to work with us to validate uh, the whole architecture. Uh, our whole architecture is based on the REST architecture right now. And uh, once we get on the cloud, you need, you need more. So, first is the getting your architecture right that you can scale up to the cloud. So, uh, it's a very different architecture from how you would build a normal product on Inkmise. Um, so once you get that architecture, then you, you have to choose on which cloud platform you have to use and uh, you know, how can you get the best leverage of your cloud. And uh, that's when we went to Microsoft because it came with a whole host of support and training along the way. And of course, there is a huge number of other um, training providers who also provide uh, additional training. From our, our perspective, it, it was uh, very simple that we could reach out to somebody who would come and be there and help us and get our product out. So in approximately um, six months, um, we were already out on beta and uh, with the whole uh, product stack up and we had customers um, using it and uh, giving us feedback. So essentially, if you focus right on what you want, I think uh, you will arrive at what suits you best. Uh, 
this is where I mean communities or self coding says tribes comes into picture. So if you look at I mean maybe some of these software stacks or maybe frameworks that we have seen. So there is a tribe or a community associated with it. And Vijay Raipati in his presentation uh, talked about I mean, some various I mean, some other features. Uh, for example, there are best practices available in Shopee, Hack and Use, I mean, so Reddit. And people I mean, do meetups all the time. There are hack and uh, hackathons, hack and nights. So you should I mean, so, uh, try to leverage I mean, so, so nobody knows everything. Not even the company that starts it. I mean, so because their focus could be on product development, not on um, uh, offering training yes. <coughs> services. So the best way uh, could be I mean, so to belong to a tribe or a community and then take it from there. I mean, so discuss them I mean, internally with the group. That helps them I mean, uh, in moving forward at least. I think that's a that's a very good point. Uh, I, I know that there are uh, there are startups, uh, sorry, there are uh, meetups that are happening uh, almost every month for all these different cloud technologies that you are that you know of. And so, you know, if you are really interested, I would really recommend that you join one of those. I think that's a very good point, very good way to learn. Of meet people who are working in that uh, field and, and uh, you know learn about the technology. And not many people uh, make use of um, so online tools like a mailing list, for example. I own IRC. So IRC is not old, I mean, so if you go, I mean, so if you want to learn anything about, for example, Red Hat, Cloud Stack, Open Stack, Eucalyptus, or it would be like, I mean, so some SaaS application. So if you go to IRC, I mean, so you possibly get, I mean, the developer who is developing that code base probably may give you the right answer. It should not take you more than, I mean, maybe a couple of minutes, or it should take you more, not more than a couple of hours. Yeah. 